Uh, Chad Williams, head basketball coach, athletic director at First Flight High School. My dad was diagnosed uh, with cancer in February of 2018, um, and uh, he was given about 10 months to live was the prognosis. And so, uh, obviously, I took it really hard, um, and uh, we got in. Some friends of mine in the coaching community uh, found out, and so we got invited to play in the coaches versus cancer event in Asheville. Um, and the thing that you have to do to go to that event is you have to do a fundraiser and raise money as a team to go. Well, my decision and what I decided to do as a fundraiser was to have our own event in the East. Um, and so my dad's name was Guy Williams and so I named it the Good Guys vs. Cancer. Uh, and I started calling some friends of mine in, in, in the coaching community, which are, they're, they're all really good guys. And they had really good teams. We threw it together and decided well, that's what we were gonna do as our fundraiser. And uh, it was really successful, really well attended. The uh, crowd liked it. The teams loved it. The hospitality that we show them here, I think is a little different than they get a lot of places. Um, and it's, it's different because the people that are here, you know, it, it's a long ways to come. So a lot of people don't travel with their teams, they're normal people. There's people that love basketball that are here. So they're cheering for basketball, they're not really cheering for a team necessarily. I mean, Chad is just a, a unbelievable person. Like, just like, he's an unbelievable coach, but he's a hundred times better person than he is a coach. And that said a lot about him. Uh, I just think how personable he is. Like, you know, I've had conversations with Chad about so many different things outside of basketball. Um, and I just think that he's just, he embodies what this this whole Outer Banks community is, just loving, caring people who care, like, and that's who, who he is as a person. This is, this is year four. Uh, and it, to be where we are right now, it's just, it's tremendous. It's just been a, it's been a real blessing for me. And so, you know, my dad uh, didn't make it to the first one. Uh, he was in the hospital, uh, but he's had the best view of the, of the rest of the game since then. So after the game, after the game, um, both teams got together and Chad got on the microphone, just thanked everybody for coming and just kind of explained what, you know, what it meant to him and thinking about his dad and just you know i think emotion just kind of overtook him and then both teams came together and they, they gave him like they embraced him and gave him a big hug and things like that so um just seeing how you know just you know how we can separate competition versus you know real life what is what made a difference and that that made that event even more special so This community is super supportive of of, of each other. Uh, it, it's a it's a it's a very, it's a very tight knit community, uh, which is ironic because it's made of a bunch of outsiders. Really, you know, um, uh, I'm, I've been here 20 years now, and I'm definitely not considered a local still by the locals. Um, but the locals have come to accept me, and uh, you know we've had a lot of people here come and vacation down here and decide they want to try and live down here, and so they end up moving. And um, so we have—it's a, a very diverse mix of people that we have here. He is a basketball nut. He's full of energy, and um, he's a family man. He's a hard worker. Not only does he coach basketball and he's the uh, athletic director, but he's mowing all the fields. He's a jack of all trades. So I think my first my first experience with the Good Guys versus Cancer event was about three years ago. Um, we came down for the event uh, on the Friday night. I think we had the, the uh, Word of God versus Farmville Central game, which was uh, which was a crazy game. Basketball, baby. It gets no better than this. One minute, 36 seconds. Oh, he dropped him. He dropped him. Chase dropped him. He put some eyes on the ground. He dropped him. Chase Forte, oh, survive. Tween, tween, stop. So I think Farmer versus Word of God kind of set the stage that that big time games can happen in this environment, and that the crowd in the Outer Banks community gets behind basketball when it is the big time big time events here. Um, it, you know, just that high electric that game was, just how it went back and forth. It's like I said, it just set the tone for now. You, these matchups that we're going to have here this year, you know, you'll see it just because those game, games Don't like that. that Put it on his head, Max. Where are we, Max? 
Oh my gosh! Coaches versus Cancer. Delio head tap. Oh, Delio head tap. That is chaos. Get in your car right, right now. Every dollar here goes to the American Cancer Society. Every bit of it. Um, First Flight High School doesn't make a dime. Um, Chad Williams doesn't make a dime. Every bit of it goes to the American Cancer Society. You know, the Sheriff's Department donates the uh, security force, and that's a huge help. You know, th special thanks to them, of course. Well, in 2004, um, they opened First Flight High School. I worked here as a deputy sheriff, um, and uh, you know, was ready to make a little bit of a change. I was uh, an investigator on the back wall back there and uh, doing a lot of work, and I'm like, you know, love kids all my life. I coached ball ever since I was about 17 years old, 18 years old. When I went out there, it was just, it was neat. Chad was there at that point in time as a um, as a teacher and a coach. Yeah. Truthfully, probably the best time of my life from, until uh, I retired then in 2006. And uh, you know, it was a it was it was a it was a great way to end a career. I thought <laughs> until I decided to come back. Yeah. Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. The, the involvement of the Outer Banks Tourism Bureau is huge for us. Um, they've come in and taken a huge uh, portion of my expenses off the table. And ultimately, to do that, you better have some good teams coming in. And the bottom line is, we got some really, really, really good teams coming in. We received a grant application. We, we have an event grant program that, that helps events uh, kind of get the word out. It helps them fund some of the expenses related to events. Those events uh, help our mission of trying to get people here, give people reasons to visit the Outer Banks during the less than peak months. So being in early December, a lot of people don't think of the Outer Banks as being a destination of choice in early December, but this event is one reason to make the trip. And when we think that once they come here in early December, they'll be surprised by what they see and want to return. It's just being in the mix, just walking in a packed gym and just the crowd just it, it just sets the honestly just kind of for me it just sets the tone for the entire month of December Ellis. for us, you know. See what he's got. Trying to create on oh wow. Eli all the way to the basket. Oh Eli. my like a top, Eli. Spin like a top. Bink 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 spin. That was ridiculous. I went to first flight high school, so and have a business here locally on the Outer Banks. So he uh, asked if um, I wanted to be involved and I said I want to be the top sponsor of it because I knew it was going to be something great and turn into something really awesome. You know, we're three, three and a half hours away from home, you know, um, but you know, walking into a gym and people saying, hey Rod, how's it going? How's your kids doing? Or, you know, things like that. So like just being that far away from home and people knowing who you are and embracing you, that's really special to me. Like I, I, I really, really do appreciate that. Like, I mean, that's, that's a core component of Outer Banks Boil Company and, and really kind of the way I look at things is being able to give back to the community, you know, in any and all ways. And what an amazing event, you know, and this is the first I've kind of learned about over the past few days, but the more I hear about it and the draw and, and the way you guys have built this out over the past few years is, is amazing. And, you know, being able to give back to a, a great cause, it was a no brainer, you know, so it's, uh, it's pretty special. I think Chad was probably in my living room talking about, you know, doing when his dad passed away, he wanted to do something I think is, uh, impressive uh, when you take what is you know very hard to handle you know the death of your father or whether it's your son your daughter whoever it is and you do something positive for it that can sometimes cripple somebody and it didn't cripple it 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 helped benefit others by him making that I'm going to do something that's going to honor his father and that's to me extremely cool I mean, extremely cool for that. What I knew about Chad and the community to make it a home run is, is how athletic all of our young kids are coming out of school. I mean, it's all the way from soccer to volleyball, baseball, softball, and basketball. Um, growing up here and going through the school system, I saw how competitive everybody really was, and basketball was one of the biggest ones. And uh, I, I knew it would work, especially with Chad behind it. What's really cool is when you, when the guys you coach start to become your friends, yeah. you know, uh, it's, and they still call you coach, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's, I had those coaches and, yeah, um, always, you know, you know, touching base with you, just making sure, you know, especially the first kind of transition years and, and as you're transitioning from high school into college, still in high school, you know, kind of working with you through everything. I mean, he's so hands-on. Um, 
you know, and making sure that you're comfortable. Yeah, and making sure you're you're going in um, a direction that's you know good for you. Um, and then you know now we sit around and sometimes and drink beers and hang out. So yeah. it's it's kind of it's kind of cool <laughs> now. Kind of cool. Jack was a really good player for me. One of the the most competitive kids I've ever had. Uh, undersized, a little bulldog, yeah. could really play. He went to UNCG, and he had two botched surgeries. Never got to play, but coach kept him there for all four years to be a part of the program because he was just such a great kid. I think it's a great thing to be able to bring people down here, show off the Outer Banks, let kids come down here, kind of have a little vacation. It's great for team bonding, you know, things like that with the early season, get your kids down here, hang out. Uh, I think it's been great. I, I wish they did it when I was there because, you know, just all the people coming in, you got college coaches coming in, I'm sure, you got scouts, you got people looking, so the more people down here, the better, and I think it's just going to get better and better every year. Of course, for one, the Outer Banks is a beautiful place, man. Like, just, you know, just seeing this place and just, like, being on the beach and being, like, just seeing everything that this, like, has to offer is just amazing. And then second, like, the basketball environment is literally second to none. Like, you know, where, where else can you go in the state, you know, to see a great basketball environment, you know, in early December? A lot of the teams that are coming to this event, a lot of their kids have never seen the ocean, you know, um, and it's something that we take for granted every day we ride by this beautiful place. You know, we're in the shadow of uh, four national parks that, you know, surround us. I, th I think it's just, it's real, you know, professional sports gets more and more mixed with celebrity and, and just big business and money. So um, high school lets you kind of strip it down, take you back to the sport. And, and it's also just kind of a proving ground and where, uh, where those dreams first really start to take flight. So uh, I think people just connect with it. It's like every year we come to this event, we, we, we watch somebody that we may not particularly have seen as much or we learn learned about somebody new. I remember the first year we came, we got a chance to watch Henry Coleman, who's at Texas A&M now. He was originally a Duke, just how good he was. And we talk about Drake May, you know, Drake May was at that time committed to Alabama to play football. And just, we, we we're at the event, we left that event saying, if Drake wants to go play basketball in the SEC at that point, he absolutely could do that. Um, so just every year seeing that event, watching guys like Isaiah Todd just coming here and he uh, just dominating the event, things like that. Um, it's just special to watch those guys. And it's going to be even special this year to see this, the, a, a new cast of uh, guys to come in as well, too. I uh, heard about the Good Guys versus Cancer event in 2018 when Chad started it. Um, I coach basketball around here with some young kids. Uh, word of mouth. Word of mouth, went to it in 2018 and been every year since. I don't think I'll even let Chad, Chad finish his first sentence. You know, again, it's, it's got three three vital things that, that are important to me. Children, sports, and obviously cancer. Even know? if you can't make it, you're still gonna you're still gonna be able to feel how great of a basketball environment when you when you when you see you look at it through the stream and you see the crowd is full of people and, and, and they're going crazy. And it's not always necessarily fans of the individual teams. They're fans of just basketball in general. So um, just you know being able to watch an event like being it, it just it just puts you in that basketball mood. It's it's almost like a college event when you when you might really have think been about the craziest it, so. game we've ever done in the history of the hoop state. It's easily the game of the year. We easily saw the dunk of the year. But the thing about the Hoop State is, we saw two programs leave it on the line. We're in a gym, a neutral site, far away from their homes, and the gym was crazy. The atmosphere was electric for, for high school basketball. This is what this event is all about, bringing high-level teams to a place that previously would not get to see that. This fan base, this town, this community appreciates it probably more than we even realize. This is like a Super Bowl coming to town for them. And the fact that these two teams just did what they just did makes everything worth it. Hey man, word of God back. That's yeah. that.